Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, an A to Z series we're playing as Lost Hills. And this is kind of what the Beast Hill is like. Um, we had the Legion of Hades because Kaisar died. Um, but uh, yeah, we took most of California. We're still at war with Eureka, unfortunately. And I set it up so that uh, should we ever go to war with the Legion, we should potentially be able to stop uh, them from invading us. Unfortunately, the Guardians do not get very much, but that's their problem. And uh, yeah... Overall, not bad. We've actually done very well. You know, of course, we have no manpower, but we still gotta finish these guys off up here too. Oh, and please give me one second. And I tabbed out earlier and did not fix the tabbing, so we'll see what happens. But with Brotherhood advocacy, all Brotherhood members should do their best to leave a positive impression among the any wastelanders they encounter. Should be great. Refurbish stuff. Well, is there anything placed for manpower? Cause my God, are we hurting for manpower? Or what? Really, really badly at this point. Um, anything else down here in the south? Ah, yes. More political power. So, where's civilian trust before we do anything else? Ooh. Uh, how much money do we have? 200 some, huh? Military sending bonuses or better. Mm, that's pretty good, too. Let's go and do that one first. Close out of this, that one. We'll do all this stuff in a little bit. Uh, close out of this one. Science. Resigning labs. Finding scientists, sure. This one we're gonna keep open, close out of this one. This one's not bad either. Drastic measures I don't like. Oh, 185, okay, so we can burn it a little bit. So that's a case. Scour Necropolis. Necropolis is home to many advanced laser weapons. Weapons that are only advanced, be, advanced, that advanced only belong in the hands of the Brotherhood. Absolutely. Hopefully we can do well here, but we might not be able to. Probably best to wait. Go and hold on to them. Uh, really, <clears throat> at this point, we should only use power armor for this. So, really, it's you guys. Okay, you're a good job, I guess. Alto explosives are nice. Jonathan Maxson, welcome back. Melee hacker, smooth talker. Uh, he's a negotiator. When he needs to be, of course. Anything else? Demi packies? Probably not a little ahead of time still. Best place to attack, where would it be? Honestly, probably like right here. Go do that. That's fine. You guys head home to Lost Hills. Uh, you know what? Maybe not, because there's a crap ton of resistance all over the place here, so maybe not. I don't want to deal with any resistance and whatnot. So. Supply at Waste Energy Power? I'm sure we can do that too. Field works are nice. Um, range of more manpower is not very much, but we'll make it work. Hey, there's a Royal, good. And O'Brien, the Shady Sands, and Greater Day Glow. You can route monies. Chico, Shady Sands. Break your day glow. There's one more, I forget where. Not a big deal. Maybe not so. Troll Warren, New Klamath. Baker? Maybe not. Boneyard. No. A royal, good. Pump them up anymore? Nope. That one maxed out already. Already having these guys do all that. Ah, thinking of birth of a mine. Our military requires robotic support. Our industry could use some help. Industry could use our help. Definitely for this one. Lower civilian distrust. Oh. Modify those evil tin cans. Oh, I should probably get rid of that. Also, we do have Roger Maxon here. Roger Maxon? Jonathan Maxon. Because I did do this one over here as well. Remarkably, Jonathan Maxon has returned to full health. It seems it won't take a one place bullet, one place bullet, and this Titan. With Jonathan Maxson in charge of the Maxsonians, and the Brotherhood's in much better position to lead the Maxsonian block of elders to a better future. Hmm. That wouldn't be bad to do. The line of succession, the fate of Jonathan Maxson's child, Arthur Maxson, is a closely held secret. 
consider the potential that Arthur had upended while still in politics. Normally, such a matter would be decided by the family, but we should really weigh in and decide what's best for Arthur as well. There you go. Yeah, these guys are all alright. Um, they want 90? Uh, whatever. Army expedient wouldn't be bad. Paladin attack, vision attack. I don't want to lose or get anything, so we're just going to go with this one. Alright, so you guys are out like here. Can you all do this, maybe? That would be great if you could. Go all the way across if you can. Eureka joins the NCR. Well, I mean, the NCR is dead, Port Master Smith. But you're welcome to do anything you like. Also, one of the comments from the first episode is that the music was too loud, and I apologize for that. Like I said in a previous campaign, um, all of my audio, like, my entire rig died. So, I had to build a new one, which really sucked. That helps out a little more. Better ride gear, yes please. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, wait, who declared one? Oh, crap. That effect. It's looking pretty thick. As long as we say no and they don't go to war with us, we should be okay, right? But now we're gonna do some funky stuff here. Uh, sure. Develop the paladin. The paladins are the bulwark of the brothers' defense. In order to keep up with the improvements of our enemies, must enhance their equipment and training. Really don't want to go to war with those guys. Oh crap, are you kidding me? Like, what are we supposed to do here, man? Seriously. Why do they go to war with each other? Why did you guys go to war with them? It makes literally no sense. So, yeah, this is gonna really suck then. Hmm. Oh, what opposition to the NCR? The NCR claims to be the successor of the pre war United States government. Good for us, we would have experienced rebellion from the United States government. Makes sense. And then we'll do the coast of California. The brother has never deployed to the sea, but we must change that. Not only might there be secrets beneath the waves, there are threats across them. Fortify the skies. The skies of California are dominated by the NCR's air forces. We can't build bunkers in the skies, but we can do the next best thing, though. Fortify cities. The brothers taking control of multiple cities in California. It's time to fortify those cities. Scour the hub. Because of the mercantile history, the hub is home to more advanced technology than any other city in the NCR. That needs to change. No war plans. Feeding the NCR will take both good tactics and good strategy. Luckily, the Brotherhood specializes in both, creating a justice system. The West Sense of California have been governed by the NCR for decades now. It takes significant time uh, and effort to adapt the West Sense to our sense of justice. And we can't do anything until we have manpower, which is probably never going to happen. Oh, good God. Screening? Sea trials. Definitely sea trials. We live in... A, well, hmm. Actually, no, definitely screening then. A mighty warship can be vulnerable to torpedo boats, even commandos on rafts. We must deploy lighter ships to protect the Brotherhood's finest. Our fleet. The focusing crystals in a given laser rifle are incredibly hard to regenerate or recreate. Up until this point in time, impossible to mass produce. Thankfully, that has changed following the recovery of essential blueprints. And offensive focus. The defensive strategy wasn't able to win us the first war with the NCR. Perhaps an offensive focus will be more successful. And part and brother deserters. In the first war with the NCR, some brotherhood members deserted and disappeared into the wasteland. Maybe we can coax a few of them back. Lost brothers. Since we extended the offer of an unconditional pardon to those who deserted in the lost war, people have been streaming into lost cells looking to re-enlist. As expected, many old members have returned. A few have lost their hollow tags in the years, but their names appear in the database of lost hills. Others have been lost to the databases, likely from damage during the war and ensuring chaos, but they did manage to keep their hollow tags. There's a little debate about letting these lost brothers back in. A more contentious group is those who claim to have lost both their hollow tags and been lost to the database. They have little to verify they were ever members at all, aside from their uniform. We can spend the effort to vet every single one individually, but doing this would take a significant amount of administrative effort that may be better spent elsewhere, and there's some concern that someone could have killed a lost brother and taken their uniform. However, unlikely that may be. Another problem is that those who were almost certainly never members at all. Outsiders who wish to join for access to our medical technology or even worse, NCR spies. Some of them have a laser rifle or barely functioning uh, suit of scavenged armor. Well, the Council of Elders is bare, uh, near unanimous that they should be rejected. There are those who point out the technology they are bringing with them is something we would not, we would confiscate anyway under normal circumstances, 
and they're handling it, handing it over willingly. And if nothing else, having a few more people as a benefit itself, when we're already struggling to raise a large enough force to face the NCR. Brotherhood members only. Hey, 100 more manpower. You know, we had to leave a lot of our divisions because the resistance is so high. Um, yeah, that's not good. So, yeah, we're struggling a lot here, actually. Really badly. Still. Uh, but we've got virtual strategic solutions. Did you know that before the bombs fell, Americans wiled away thousands of hours on their lives on electronic simulations? What did generate people? We should lock away uh, this lotus-eating machine forever. Just after one more turn, of course. So right now, we're trying to get ready to core a lot of places. Um, I'm on a resistance eradication for our occupied territories, just because it's ridiculously high. Resistance will pop back up. We're keeping compliance where it is for now. Um, also, if the Legion does go to war with us, I will basically redo parts of this. So, there's that. Uh, but yeah, we got quite a bit of political power, which is pretty nice. We have no divisions. So we're surviving. We're not thriving, we're just surviving. Um, we did finally f flush all these people out too, so which is okay. Oh. Hey, actually the divisions are back. Um, thank you for showing up. Seriously, thank you. Just in case people want to come kill us. We have no manpower, but whatever. Um, but we have no civilian trust, but we've been lowering the civilian distrust, which is very important. Those evil tin cans. So this really hurts compliance growth speed, resistance target, resistance growth speed, required garrisons. My god, was that terrible. Ooh, Navajo Nation, yes. Please. Win? Okay, maybe not. Okay, then. Um, I do want this sophisticated electronics tech, but we're really capped without having enough manpower. So that's why we need to start coring more stuff and lowering resistance and whatnot and everything like that. So this is going to be extraordinarily uh, important to do. And we'll try, try and get more manpower too. So lowers our stability a little bit, but whatever. Uh, we could appoint High Elder Francis or Colonel Scott, Elder of the High Brotherhood. Hmm. Points High Elder. Does not have absolute High Elder of the Brotherhood of Steel Trade. Well, we'll see. Piece of a war, no, we're good with that. So research is, you know what, how much science points do we get? 350, we get 20 a month. Hmm. I want more labs still. We can settle people down, and get a generic focus tree, we could do that. Development projects, bottle caps, economy. we just don't make enough money, we don't make enough anything. But as long as resistance is still being lowered, that's still very beneficial for us. Even though it doesn't look like a lot of being lowered anymore. Probably because of the lack of manpower and whatnot. Garrison fulfillment, yeah. Because we have no manpower, we cannot lower resistance. Because we cannot lower resistance, we can't get any more manpower. It's an evil cycle. Which means we definitely, definitely, definitely... <clears throat> ...do all this stuff and then continue to lower civilian distrust, which will make it easier for us so we have less garrisons needed less resistance target, less resistance growth speed, and better compliance growth speed. These are all very important things to do. So. And I don't know what to do about political power, except core stuff eventually. But right now, the area around Lost Hills is not great. We don't have any free cores. So. And we're almost done with the land docking, which is good. Fortify the skies is great. Fortify the cities, which you read earlier. Overcharged ammo is nice. Advanced rider gear. I don't care if it's ahead of time. We need it. Um, well, we're not even using it, really. But we will use it in a little bit. So. <clears throat> God dang it. They, they won that war very fast. Culture simulation. Expand officer training. Media draft. And I'm not going to increase resistance target to us. That wouldn't be very good. War propaganda wouldn't be bad, actually. More war support? Sure, why not? Fractional distillation. It's all right. Uh, keep going for better core creation costs for now. Cool. Plants not going up. Ooh, resistance is actually going up here. But resistance is going down here too, which is good. Uh, advanced energy weaponry. I guess we grab this one too. Is there anything else major that we need right now? Air stuff? I guess we should probably figure out what gliders are. No consumer goods. Peace of war. Distribute goods, yeah. We need at least 100 civilian trust for this one. So basically, we were forced to do this. Now. Support efforts. 0 0.06 drift chance. Sure. 
Why not? Also, we're out of guns, too. So, uh, we don't have a lot of caps, but a few caps that we do have. That's why I want to sell the research. We can, uh... Buy a little bit more here. It's not gonna help out that much. Actually, you know what? What am I doing here? Can I request garrison fort? Okay, why not? They don't have enough manpower themselves. Okay. You probably don't have enough manpower. Uh, yeah, you don't have a lot of them, do you? Darn it. Can't they just delete their own divisions and give us their stuff? I did say screen. Uh, so we're all locked out of this stuff because we have no manpower. Not ideal. But we continue doing stuff over here. Acme. Apparently, there was not a single Acme Corporation. Instead, many different corporations uh, or companies took the name of Acme. Uh, so they could be first in a telephone book. Truly, the pre-war world, world war uh, pre-war world was mad. Watts. Before the war, Watts made batteries, tape records, or uh, and laser rifles. Think of the wonders the brother could gain if we could harness that power. Think of all the danger to the wasteland if we didn't. Chrysalis. The Chrysalis automobiles. Chrysalis. Uh, we're at the peak of pre-war technology, with cars powered by the atoms themselves. If we ever want to secure the wasteland's technology, we must know how to make a chrysalis cherry bomb. Power armor development. An industry geared towards to produce something as complex and resource-intensive as power armor can be easily retooled to almost anything else. Innovator weaponry research. Tesla weaponry has been long been coveted and studied within our most secretive labs. Recent innovations have finally made the secrets of long-hidden magnetic coil management known to us. Soon we shall be able to roll these weapons out. We want to do all that stuff over there. Uh, we want to do that stuff here. Legacy of the Founders. The Brotherhood was founded in order to preserve the knowledge of the old world. We recently have been struggling to fulfill that duty. We must do everything in our power to change that. Which would be great. And commitment to purity. Uh, let's go to that one first. Because that will give slightly more uh, output, war support, changing elites. More, more war support too. If we were to expand our ranks past the Brotherhood's core, then we might risk diminishing what it even means to be a member of the Brotherhood. All members of the Brotherhood must be initiated, as it confers a sacred connection that is carried down all the way from Arthur Maxon. To diminish that by integrating criminals and mutants would jeopardize their very core. There you go. Chains that bind. Um, I don't want more resistance striking yet. Population growth. The Brotherhood's small size has never been dis disadvantaged, but in order to have a few thousand more paladins, promotions. There are many knights in the Brotherhood who have shown exceptional ability. There's no reason why they should not be paladins. Paladin purity. Uh, it's going to really kill our recruitable population, but gives us more stability too. Paladin is the cornerstone of the Brotherhood military. It only makes sense to train them to be absolutely the best in the wasteland. Powder, nice. Do we have any money at all? Oh, 126 is not bad, actually. How do we get that much money? I don't see any more guns. Give me the basics help. Do that one piece of war. Improve country management. Sure, more stability is nice. Uh, expand army training. Still waiting for. Oh my gosh. This thing forever to do. Uh, cool. What else we got here? Gunscape production tools. We occasionally encounter groups of wastelanders with advanced production equipment. That equipment would be much better served in the Brotherhood's hands. Expand workshops. The Lost House Bunker is home to numerous workshops. Manufacturing anything the Brotherhood needs. It's about time we expanded them. Remove nightly confusion. Hey, that'd be great. Recruit experts. Ah, here we go. The Brotherhood is filled with talented individuals. We should be utilizing them more appropriately. The Chains of Bind. The Chains of Bind has been a guiding principle of the Brotherhood since its foundation. Ensuring its use in military matters will keep our divisions organized in all situations. Reward excellence. There are many exceptional in individuals in the Brotherhood. Their talents shouldn't be wasted. And defy or deify Roger Maxson. Roger Maxson, the founder of the Brotherhood and creator of all its core tenets, was the best of all of us. All Brotherhood members should know his name. Opposition to the NCR. The NCR claims to be the successor of the pre-war United States government. Good for us. We have experience rebelling from the United States government. Bunker garrisons. For far too long, the Brotherhood has left the bunkers outside of Los Angeles unmanned and in disrepair. That needs to change if we're to have any hope of defeating the NCR. Heroes of the NCR War. There are numerous veterans on the NCR War filling non-combat roles in the Brotherhood. Their experience will be necessary in the war to come. That, which is great. Um, I wouldn't mind that, but we did get over here too, so let's do that one as well. No 
factories, pretty normal propaganda efforts. Sure. Your first commitment to purity is good. I never talked about the Knights of Scribes either. Hmm. Eighties. Oh, good. Optimized trading. You know what? Why not? We have political power for it. Sounds pretty good to me. Barrage balloons. So now with uh, more manpower coming in, even though we'll help reduce it in the future, it's going to definitely help us out reduce uh, all this. And maybe we might get more compliance too. And once that line doctrine is done, we'll go ahead and focus on our next line doctrine. Telegraphs. Very nice. Uh, I'm not as good going that way too now. Midwestern. North. Midwestern. Northwestern. Uh, this one? Yeah. Is that 150? Yeah, might as well. We need support equipment and manpower for this. We definitely don't have enough for that. Okay. Production's good. That one's in the bottom don't really matter as much. Tree. Population growth. Great. Promotions. Sure. Go ahead and train because I forgot to train you. Uh, then that. Oh, what the heck. So, then, so they did that. Huh? So they. Okay. Interesting. Like, destroyed their pact with each other. Alright. I'm okay with that. Sure. Why not? Minimum percent promotions is good. All that stuff up there. Broken mask. Goodbye. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do some more of stuff up here. Memories of the Fallen. We don't want to prepare to fight other groups, those unready for the splendor of our technology, will seek to steal from us that which we have earned ourselves. We must always be ready to fight, always be ready to pay respect to those who made the sacrifices needed for Maxon's ideals. And memories of heroes. As a brother grows and establish an important part of this wasteland, the amount of people willing to live and die for Maxon's cause grows. Let us honor those willing to do whatever it takes to uphold the Codex, Maxon's memory, and the protection of our infallible heritage. You know what? Let's grab that bonuses right now. Sell so the researches. We can close out that one for now too. Why not? Uh, to not the right. Advanced technology decisions, not yet. Clothing production, not bad. Because right now, where are we at? So the blast is actually slowly, slowly, slowly going up. Thank God. And resistance is doing even better too. Do we have any negative penalties here? Population quotas are great. You will have this many babies. Yeah, there's all that stuff that hurts us, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Just find our power, it's fine. Those evil tin cans, one more maybe, or we can get, really get rid of it. Those extreme point commits are good. Yeah. Cool. Reward excellence, yeah. Multi population, be nice. Special force capacity multiplier, it's freaking insane. Um, yeah, let's go down this rate. This rate is way now. No undesirables, quartermaster pensions. We change this law through national folks, centralized stockpiles, quartermaster wages. Which works played. Nice. More entrenchment? Sure, why not? Well, as long as the Legion's focusing out on us, I'm okay with that. Texas is looking pretty thick, though. Mexico is trying to figure out itself still. Our power, which is fine, you know what? So we got it here. Um, robots? Uh, probably automated, probably not. Wasteland technology, asymmetric warfare. Outsider inspired warfare, definitely not. Uh, we went down refined. Conventional radios. Already become the new Legion. 
old world tactics. Or we adapted to the wasteland. We have refined wasteland tactics or refined old world tactics. Conventional with radios. Having radios makes sense to me. Well, we could become the Legion, but we're not the Legion. I want to become the Legion. We'll go with the conventional. Old world, conventional, or refined conventional warfare. Eh, either one. This one's not great to do, especially with the radio stuff. But you get bunkers. You know what? We get bunkers. We're bunker blues. We're bunker kids, aren't we? We're gonna go with that one. My apologies if you don't like that route, but I gotta vary it from time to time, depending on what I choose here. Cool. Looking halfway decent now. 85% not bad. Exploration for technology. Of course we don't have people. What do you expect? Black Wells are probably the first one we want to core. It only costs 47 to change that bind. Fantastic. Reward excellence. Absolutely. Hey, we have a little bit of money here, which means... Um, new citizen's care package. We can lower it faster. Or I get this one more political power, but we don't need more political power. This one would be bad either. Uh, let's go with new citizen's care package first. Because that's just going to help accelerate how fast we can lower resistance and increase how much compliance we get actually too so well I keep joining the ncr but the ncr is dead so just like normal we just gotta wait Anything else? Expand army training. Constantly expand our army training. So actually on attack is good. And we're making more able XP. Eight spare one. Eagle Rock. Uh let's get this one. Perfect rate. Good. 120 days. Is it one for any shorter one? Because we need a hundred, so we'll just do this once. I think that'd be good. Yeah, who cares about... Oh, I guess we're actually building stuff now, finally. Look at that. Wow. Wow. As we reward excellence and DFI, Roger Maxson. More stability, more support. Yes, please. Um, we're going to increase the political power because we're not going to go war with anybody anytime soon. Um, what do we have here? We have more people unlocked because these ones need recruit experts. Reward excellence for this one now. Cover rate's still not bad. 5% is not great. Paladin Smith. 15% more, Paladin Trigger. I have to do this one. 50% more, that's absolutely insane. How do we get this one? Recruit NCR Administrators? Eh, eh. Paladin Trigger? Can we just get Paladin Trigger? And Briggs. Trigger, Briggs. And you'll only do that one too, why not? You get two weekly manpower and 53 people a month. Nice. So that's been all our political power up. Not great, but whatever. We're doing all right in PP. Heaven's Gate. Looking nice, finally. Good. Of course, we shouldn't have spent all the PP. But compliance looking pretty good, actually. Resistance is finally all the way almost down. It's great. Love it. 202, huh? Tucson. Subscription's nice. Um, do we still need a lot of uh, power armor? We need a lot of power armor. I have a too. Um, Nice. That's a slightly more stability. Here we go. Let's go. We're mine doing that one too. 75, yeah. Uh, lost sales politics. We don't need that one yet. Keep doing this one. Just please, just please, just please. That's in depth. Sure. Let's grab here anything else. We gotta wait. Cool. Uh, scribes, empty suits. Following the intermission of the NCR Brotherhood War, plenty of suits of power armor were left abandoned due to soldiers dying in the field of battle. Let's reappropriate these <coughs> fallen soldiers' equipment and give it out so that the new heroes can one day live up to their legacy and fill with purpose. The Blast Codex gives their soldiers the strength they will need and will, need, will needed to do what must be done for the sake of the Brotherhood. That would be great too. More compliance growth speed, yes please. Memories of heroes, great. We could use some power armor right now. Aura. Yeah, I just want her or our guys. Military statistics, more daily army XP gain. Sure, why not? Ninety-five. Oh, we're super close to pouring stuff here. 
No, some places. Of course, we want that thing for core creation costs to go way down, right? But then we have no manpower still. We have 55. We might have to start coring a few things first, just so we have enough so we can go here. Rounding up criminals. Quite a few raiders hoping to take advantage of a conflict with NCR. Hope to use this chance to sneak into the country and bring terror to the civilian population. It might win over the hearts of some of those more against us if we are to make an active effort to help improve the lives of citizens across our occupied territories. Suits. Uh, oh, Necropolis. Oh, we get a core. Oh, yes, absolutely. With the Necropolis finally taken, taking now we can begin the process of creating a brotherhood administration in the city. Where's Necropolis? Oh, it's right here. Oh, we get this one for free? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that definitely helps out. You know what? It's only 47. We're going to do that one first. It's not much population, but we get these to not stop rebelling against us. Hopefully, is there another one? Oh, we get a core of Maxon too. Maxon's named after the founder of the Brotherhood, Roger Maxon, naturally. The city's friendly to the Brotherhood. And the hub. The hub's only recently become a peaceful state of the NCR. Hopefully, under our administration, the city can remain just as prosperous. Naval Luxcon. Must have doubt the Brotherhood's lore for the waves. Perhaps we should consider each ship a squad unto itself and its captain, a paladin. Now, nah, let him squabble. It's fine, whatever. It's all good. There you, there you go. Nice. One more day left. Yay! Boom, boom, boom. Optimize trading. More money. So other researches. How much money do we? How much science do we have? Three sixty. It's not bad. Uh, Acropolis conquered. Great. And now with concrete fortifications. Yeah, well, this one definitely last. Oof. Get more attacking defense though. It's not bad. Yay. Things are finally looking up for us. So with this being a core, that actually gives us a little bit of manpower. Look at that. <gasps> manpower, wow. Wow. And the hub will be core too eventually. Which would be nice. Beautiful. Wow, we've actually expanded out. What a concept. Ooh, do we have anyone else here yet? No, more gaming. Nice. Sure. Maxon, please? Oh, hello. Are you... Uh-oh. Yay, yeah, Francisco chapter... Oh, no. Oh, no, did they go to war? Oh, crap. Bruh. Um, that's not good. That's actually really bad for us. We might actually be able to hold, them, hold off against them, maybe? Oh, we need more naval XP. Oh, running up criminals, yes. Manpower resistance goes... Yes. Round up dangerous technology. Well, you know, we're going to save real quick, too. Round up dangerous technology. The wasteland is filled with dangerous pre-war technology, the least of which is being energy weapons and power armor. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay with that. we got a lot of stuff to do uh, for all these focuses and whatnot. We already read these. Condensed workshops. Screw it. Condensed workshops. The higher levels of the bunk are soon reaching capacity. There isn't much room left for new industry. The only viable solutions keep c to continue or condense existing industry into denser, more compact workshops. Scribe maintenance routines. The unity of a scribe is a sacred thing, for a scribe must constantly work to improve their knowledge of machines and technology. All the while, strive to improve upon and master the construction and maintenance. Circuitry plants. Both of our power armor and energy weapons require circuitry, some of which we aren't able to scavenge the wastes. The key to increasing our production efficiency will be our circuitry manufacturing plants and arms workshops. Most of our industrial capacity is focused on producing construction equipment and refined materials. Maybe it's time we change that. And lost those armory. Um, let's go advanced manufacturing. Why well, not start away expanding the bunker? Our scribes do the same researching pre-war industrial techniques. Thanks to the work, we're able to continue to improve the efficiency of our manufacturing plants and bunker extraction. Oh, yes, please. Oh, not even a description there. Scavenging vehicles. We really need to find more vehicles if we want to travel the wasteland. Even in power armor, it's a long road to the capital wasteland. Perhaps we can check old car lots, parking garages, or bus depots, scavenging support equipment. Radios, helmets, wrenches, Nuka-Cola energy drinks. These are not as flashy as plasma cells, but they're no, necessary, no less necessary for a squad. But I think I'm going to We actually have finally, by the end of this episode, manpower. We're lowering resistance. We've got a few cores. We're, things are looking really up. And we'll have one more episode, at least, for us to probably beat up the Legion. Maybe take out New Reno, Vault City, and all those people that claim that they 
don't want to be part of our government. But if you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we're going to continue struggling, but hopefully doing also very, very well. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.